Another chip maker is in the market and that is a good news. But if you're a consumer who is looking for a cheap GPU, that is not for you. This is aimed at bigger players, especially which are dealing in data centers. Edge has really gone out of their way to make this biggest bet in AI and I agree with it. The thing is that their claim about fastest AI chip of all time seems to be true but we can only verify it when it is out. With over 500,000 tokens per second running Llama 70 billion, Sohu lets you build products that are impossible on GPUs. One 8 into Sohu server replaces 160 H100 NVIDIA cards and that is no small feat. Sohu is the first specialized chip or ASIC for transformer models. By specializing, they get way more performance. So who cannot run convolutional neural networks, LSTMs, SSMs, or any other AI models, by the way, they are specific to transformers. Today, every major AI product, whether it is ChatGPT or Anthropics, Claude, Gemini, Sora, they all are powered by transformers. Within a few, year, few years, it is very much inevitable that every large AI model is going to run on custom chips and that is why this Sohu chip which is a specialized chip is really inevitable. Sohu is 10 times faster and cheaper than Nvidia's next generation Blackwell B200 GPUs and that is again no small thing. And as per this paper which I'll drop the link in video description, Sohu uh, and really tries to make a dent in the market where nvidia is ruling plus sohu is aimed to be replacement of nvidia's larger family of gpus once sohu server runs over 500,000 llama 70 billion tokens per second 20 times more than an h100 server which has 23,000 tokens per second so the difference is huge also it runs 10 times more than a B200 servers, which deals with 45,000 tokens per seconds. They also have done some of the benchmarking here, which you can see. And these all are bench, did all benchmarks are running from FPS without sparsity at 8 into model parallelism with 2048 input output lens. Also, we all know that GPUs aren't getting any better. They are just getting bigger. And in the past four years, compute density, which is uh, teraflops per mm, has only improved by 15%. Next generation GPUs, especially from NVIDIA, like NVIDIA B200, and also from AMD MI300X, and even Intel's Gaudi 3, AWS Trainium 2, they all are now counting two chips as one card to double their performance. Also, with moods loss slowing, the only way to improve performance is specialization. Today, AI models cost around $1 billion plus dollar to train and will be used for $10 billion plus in inference. At this scale, a 1% improvement would justify a $50 to $100 million custom chip project. ASICs are 10 to 100 times faster than GPUs and when Bitcoin mines hit the market in 2014, it became cheaper to throw out GPUs than to use them to mine Bitcoins. So I believe with uh, billions of dollars on the line, the same is happening for AI. And we all know that Edge uh, the, has always been trying to do that because transformers have a huge board and they believe in the hardware lottery. The architecture that wins is the one that runs faster and cheapest on the hardware and that is where i think they are trying to make the difference and we all know that transformers have won the lottery when it comes to neural architecture ai labs have already spent hundreds of millions of dollars optimizing kernels for transformers startups use special transformer software libraries like vllm or trt llm which offer features built on transformers like speculative decoding and tree search and as the models have scaled from $1 billion to $100 billion training runs, the risk of testing a new architecture skyrockets. Effort is better spent making transformers more efficient instead of retesting scaling laws. So this is where Memba architecture is in threat, in my opinion. 
So as we know that uh, once Soho and other ASIC architectures hit the market, we will reach the point of no return. Transformer scalers will need to run faster on GPUs than transformers on Soho. So I guess this is huge. And just to show you how you, they can fit so much flops on their chips, the NVIDIA H200 has 989 teraflops to compute without sparsity. Whereas this one is 20 times 25% more compute offering, which is amazing, amazing. So a lot of benchmarking in this paper. And the crux of the matter is that Edge is going to be the first when it comes to these SSX, which seems a bit crazy. And this is not happening today or tomorrow. It will take some time. But once it happens, I think we will have a true NVIDIA competitor. So that's it, guys. Let me know what do you think. I will drop the link to it in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.